So we just hit 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. If we hit 5,000 by November, we're each going to dye our hair a different color of the Mexican flag. So help us get there. <laughs> Tell your friends. Started. Welcome back to Easy Mode. For today's Patreon shout out, we have Aparni Rani, Aztec God, Eddie Bravo, Imperium Sloth, Izzy Sandoval, Jazz, Kareem, Kareem, I, I want to say Kareem so bad, Daria, Nia Town, Not Mitch, and Meredith, your boobies out, a.k.a. Veronica Lopez, a.k.a. Who the fuck is Mitch? Thank you so much for all of our jaritos. Uh, that's $20 tier where we give you a shout out on our board here. Keep in mind, this board is ghetto rigged. I have a board coming in the mail in two days. We're going to have a cork board, a lot nicer. It's going to look like a fucking office in here, dude, with your guys' shout outs. Do you guys want to say thank you to all the patrons that we have this, this month? Thank, thank you. you. Thank you to the class of September 2021. I'll put the names on the screen now. Do, 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 do. Point out one that you like a lot. Who's that's your favorite right there? Okay, that one right there. <laughs> that one right there. Uh, thank you so much for all the Patreon uh, members for September 2021. Uh, we are having a spooky ass fucking month coming up soon, so uh, make sure to pay for a Patreon. It's five dollars a month. Uh, you get exclusive episodes every week. Anyways, let's get to the episode. Thank you very much. And welcome back to Isimo Podcast. Podcast. Yes. Podcast. My name is Gerardo Alarcón. I'm Dominic Angel. I'm Ryan Reyes. I'm Dominic Angel. And welcome back. To, please. You <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I'm Dominic Angel. <laughs> and I'm. <laughs> he almost did it. He almost did it. We tried to make him do the last week. Anyways. It's my choice. <laughs> it's my choice. Welcome back. To, please follow us on Instagram if you haven't already. At Isimo Pod. I S I M O P O D. Leave us a voicemail at 920. 920- Four seven four six six four four. That's one eight nine two zero. Isimo high. Please like and subscribe our YouTube channel uh, and follow us on Spotify. Rate and review us on Apple Podcast. <laughs> yeah, and, and tell your friends. And tell your friends. Share it. Share the fuck, Share the fucking thing, dude. Thank <laughs> you for those you of you that have. have a panic I I have already explained this. I had a fine grind of coffee today, and it's an espresso. You know, I told you that fine grind, dude. You didn't believe me, dude. I had this big of a fucking cup of it, dude. Not fucking insane. I'm insane. That's like eight shots of espresso right there. <sighs> you know it. <laughs> 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 now I also put ice and other stuff in it. Eh, don't be silly, dude. Today's episode, dude. How are we doing today? I'm doing good, man. Woo! I, I believe Ryan because he wooed. You didn't. Uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try to woo? Woo. <laughs> that was weak. Dude. Anyways, today's episode is Piñata Isimo. Let's get cracking. Oh. Oh. So uh, I wanted to do a <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what, what do piñatas mean to you, dude? Candy. <laughs> of course, it means candy to Dominic, dude. I like breaking things. You like breaking things. It means candy to you. And for me, it's all about the ladies, dude. If a lady <laughs> The sees, ladies? Yeah, dude. That's when you were a, a fucking little kid at the piñata party and you're all like in your hey. fucking guayabera. Mm-hmm. You're like twirling in your fingers. Watch this. Yeah, dude. Twirling the fucking stick just like, like it's, I'm a fucking. <laughs> and then your uncle fucks with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then my uncle pulls my pants down. I'm like, stop it. <laughs> no, but uh, for me, dude, it was all about impressing people, dude. Whether it be ladies or men, dude. I was just out there trying to break that shit. You know what I'm saying? But with the little smile on my face and shit. When you're trying to think about being cool, though, you look like the least cool person, right? Yeah. But that's what it was all about for me, dude. I wanted to fucking crack this shit before anyone got it cracking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, there is a sense of that. I remember being a kid and being like, I want to fucking break this motherfucker. That was... I actually have a funny story about piñatas. For like three of my birthdays, my mom bought two piñatas. Yeah. Because... There's uh, growing up, there's always two groups of kids. There was the little kids and the big kids because I'm like the oldest of the little kids and he was like the youngest of the big kids. Oh, shit. And all the so she had to get two because the big kids would go first because it would go by age. And they would no, that's fuck. wrong, dog. That's yeah, wrong. You do it back. That's or it was like by height, wasn't it? It was some weird rule how they lined the kids, bro. Up. You can't go, you can't go older kids first. Older kids should not be even hitting the pinata, dog. If or I not, think it was smaller. Yeah, eventually it has they to go smaller it. and bigger. But I remember there was like one time where she she had to buy two because the big kids like fucked up the big one right away. Yeah. And and then uh, the little one had less candy in it because we had already popped one. The little one was just to appease me because I would throw tantrums. Yeah, dude. The little ones, the little pinatas, dude. The hardest fucking things to break of all time, dude. 
Oh, like the the tiny ones. Yes, yeah. the small pinatas. Because they're more like compact. Exactly. That's the thing about because they have more tension. wires. They're made of fucking metal. That's why, dude. <laughs> <laughs> imagine a metal pinata. I'm just food. imagine you like hitting a safe and your parents painting it like a pinata. <laughs> I took acid and I thought a safe was a pinata, dude. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> I was just picturing like accidentally burgling someone's house and the cops show up and you're like, "Where's the fucking candy? <laughs> Where the fuck is the candy?" And out of the fell into the bottom of a well and he's hitting. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I went to a, a kid's party this last Saturday. I was invited. And, <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was so funny, dude, because, you know, the pinata comes around. Yep. I don't give a fuck how old you are, dude, at a Mexican party when the pinata comes around. If you're not fucking an alcoholic stuck on your fucking drinking tip, you're around the pinata. Even if you are an alcoholic, you're just like with your drinks. Fucking I feel like the, usually the alcoholic's the one pulling the rope. <laughs> yeah, the alcohol. one of the alcoholics has a beer in one hand and the rope in the other, dude. You know what I mean? So it was so funny because... The, it went little to big because my family don't fuck around. We don't play that fucking big to little shit. That's weird. Yeah, I I don't know what he's talking about. It was like there's one birthday in particular. I think it was just like a they were just they, no. There was no checks and balances. They fucked yeah. it up. Yeah, I understand that. That happens a lot. But this and was I, like one of my earlier, like I think six years old or something. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's so fucked up to the little kids. But it makes them stronger. Let's be honest. You know what I mean? I don't even think it was intentional. I think it was just like the big kids were really excited. That has to be intentional. There's no there's no way, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm stuck on this big to little thing. It was never like that. I don't know what he's talking about. I need to call respect to the Reyes name. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to get it wrong because there have been things. But I remember there was a birthday where there yeah, was. Yeah, there have been things you've been wrong about. <laughs> there was a birthday because I remember one of them was Cat in the Hat. The other one was like Spider-Man. But it was like the diamond one with the spikes. So at this party I went to, it was a six for a pinata, which let's get more original. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> six. six. It's a mermaid party. Let's get a fucking mermaid pinata. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Ariel, Ariel, SpongeBob? Sebastian. The you know how many SpongeBob knockoffs there are at like Food for Less or something? Yeah, yeah that and you know, you know how fucking imaginative these fucking pinata makers are, dog. Tell them mermaid, and they'll give you a fucking crab or something but better than a six. You know what I'm saying? I've seen like dope pinatas. Yeah, we're playing under the sea, and we got a six that we're hitting. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, under the <laughs> six, <laughs> under the six, there's big candy falling, and I'll be calling. Ford, my mom. Okay, so uh, there was the three kids, the fucking smallest kids, right? They both had their turns at the pinata. They need to not let them. Yeah, little little kids with a fucking thirty three ounce baseball bat trying to hit a pinata. That's yeah. sad, dude. You know, six to twelve. Yeah, that's the age. That's pinata age. No, I mean let the little kid like slap it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but don't give him a stick. Food. So you get two. We yeah, we didn't have two though. So what happened was the second kid, little fucking kid, dude. Whoever made this pinata fucked up because this little kid broke the pinata in one hit. Either that or that kid's like going to be really good at baseball or something. No, it was like a, it was a terrible pinata. The pinata fucking fell over and everyone looked around. <laughs> one kid, it was so funny, started crying hard because <laughs> she was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Mia, you're like three years old. Why did you break the pinata? It's just like a balloon. <laughs> 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 but the the quick thinking of my uh, family members, they got the circle of the six and they put a rope around that and hung that shit up, dude. Yeah, that is always funny when it breaks too early. It's like, dude, it was literally everyone started looking around like, what do we like? It was like nine eleven. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. It was bad not joke. Bad joke. <laughs> Anyways, so then they they put a the rope through the circle of the six, and then the bigger kids kind of knew like, all right, we're gonna have to take it easy on this pinata. You know, this birthday is a wash. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> like we want everyone to get their hits in, and yeah. it was so funny to me. That's why I called you. I was like, we got to do an episode about pinatas, dude. <laughs> yeah, I remember when it used to fall early. The, the hardest one was uh, it was that fucking the traditional pinata with the spikes. That fucking hanger on it kept yeah. falling off. So then it just would just it was. It was not good. Mm -hmm. And then finally we just tore it open because it just kept falling. You couldn't even, there was no fun. And it's criminal the amount of fucking staples they use on these fucking paper mache pinatas, dude. Yeah, I remember one time, I forgot, I think it was probably Spider-Man or something. Somebody had like a character pinata and then they kept the head because it survived. Yeah. And they tried to put it on and it was like, ah! Dude, yeah, you can fucking cut up. You look like you're in the Battle of Troy, dog. It was <laughs> me. It was you? It was me. You tried to put a Spider-Man head on? I thought it would fit. I was small. Oh, my God. I mean, it fit. It fit. It's yeah. not, it doesn't belong there, Defu. I guess so. They just they put candy and staples in the pinata, dude. That's what they do. 
Yeah. <laughs> All those stories about them finding razor blades in the in the chocolates yeah. and Halloween, it was from pinatas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually, it was, no, we have to get it. Well, speaking of where things are from, Ryan, go ahead and take it over and give us the history of pinatas. And we're going to, if you mention mustard once, I swear to God. Why the fuck you would mother he fucker. you, motherfucker? <laughs> go for it. <laughs> I knew I would fuck him up. No, because I know you can get tiny pinatas and I want to fill one with mustard now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so, from what we checked, uh, the consistent origin is there was a tradition um, that was discovered in China by Italian explorers and they brought that tradition to Italy and then it was incorporated into the Catholic Church and eventually brought to um, what is now like central southern or uh, like Mexico and downward. Yeah. I forget what that's called. Central America. South America. Central and South America. Um, But interestingly enough there was already a tradition that existed um, that is, dead, uh, I think, associated with the Mayans. Yeah. Um, but it was, we've heard that it's played differently. I couldn't confirm this 100%, but their version of it was a pot that would be, like, full of meat, and you'd have to be the guy to tip it into, like, a smaller, there's, like, a, you have to aim it into a, do you remember what it was? I don't know. It was some, it was some, uh, let's be honest, nobody favorite. knows about the Mayans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They Where did out, they go? Like, way before <laughs> Where did those fools go eat? <laughs> Where were those fools <laughs> going? But yeah, it was but like a similar what, tradition. The thing about the pinatas in the Mayans is that they blindfolded themselves. Yeah, that's something that they had already been doing. Yeah. It was like a party game with like nobles. Yeah. Party time. <laughs> the weird part for me was like how once it was brought to the Catholic Church, they tried to make it. Well, you explain this part because it was like weird. With uh, the Catholic Church in Mexico? Well, yeah. Like aspect, how, so. how, what, like what did it represent? So it, the Catholic Church, they said that the, it represented uh, the perseverance of faith. So the pinata itself is evil. And then the inside, the candies on the inside, and you found the fallacies in this, but this is what I read. The candies on the inside are the temptations of evil, and the blindfolded person hitting the pinata is faith. So you have to defeat the evil to get the temptations? That doesn't make sense. What are the, well, because in the pinata, the traditional one has the spikes and shit on yeah. it. And each. The Star point. of Bethlehem, I think. Oh, right. Yeah. But doesn't each point represent like a sin or the something? The seven yeah, deadly sins. sins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, this was a point because the original ones were made of clay. I could see that being a religious, like, scary Catholic thing yeah. of a giant spike ball <laughs> that you have to smash yeah. open. Who made it? That devil fool. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude, leave it up to Catholics to make the devil fucking represented in a fun little activity. You like the party? You like the devil. You like pinatas? The devil fool. God damn, I wonder what pin the tail on the donkey man is full. I know, right? <laughs> pin You're the tail on the ass. Satan. Yeah. I know. You're an ass. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's weird because the temptations of evil are so delicious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The <laughs> Snickers. <laughs> Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> That's my temptation. <laughs> Mazapan, fool. I'm going to get you for your birthday. You can't put Mazapan in a piñata, fool. Don't be ridiculous. Wait, why? Because bah! it's a crumble. Oh, but you just have if a it's wrapped of good. smoke. What if you just, what if you wrap it with cellophane, each fucking individual? Each one? Phone? Yeah. All right, well, now you're on to something. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm going to get you a mazapan pinata for your birthday, dog. Fool, I would love that. <laughs> I know you, at Walmart, they sell like little ones. It's so adorable. This fool doesn't even hit it. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> opens it up. My mom made a coronavirus pinata. Did you guys see that? I've seen them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw some, like, the photo or something. <laughs> yeah. And you got to beat the shit out of That's the coronavirus. Really funny. Yeah. And then shortly after that, I got coronavirus. It would be funny if, like, you do that for a birthday instead of a uh, blindfold, it's a mask. <laughs> that it's is a funny. face mask. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, dude. It's full of hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little hand sanitizer. It's filled with what the vaccine. The fuck? <laughs> it's filled with vaccines. I <laughs> so <laughs> many. <laughs> That's fucked up. That'd be spiky, dude. <laughs> That's right. They're all out there trying to get candy and then go right into the <laughs> Come back to my nephew's party oh my in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the party in two weeks. You're not going to get me this time, fool. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, of like, uh, what's it called? Like puppet pinatas. <laughs> Puppet governments. Anyways, uh, what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, but the, the in I guess in Mexico it's like a prank or something to make pinatas oh, full yeah. of flour and fucking 
Uh, what else was it? There was flour, water, oh, confetti, water. Confetti. That's fucked up, dude. dude the confetti it. ones. I mean, it's funny because those ones you can always tell because they're different weight, dude. Yeah, confetti pinatas belong in one place, dog. Movies, all right. Yeah, that's it because they're not real life. <laughs> if I see that shit, if I see a confetti pinata fool, I will fucking, I will, I will go to jail. Take that shit to Hollywood, fool. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. That sounds like the thing with the eggs, uh, the confetti eggs and yeah. Easter. Yeah. It was funny as that was, I think, the original tra- tradition. Or it was like you would find actual eggs and it would be food. Um, <laughs> Imagine eating eggs on Easter. <laughs> That's such a weird... <laughs> Did you ever eat uh, the hard-boiled eggs after? No. I was like... I would get eggs. Because at the time, I... All I in general uh, consistency in my childhood, I don't like eggs. Yeah, but I hated hard boiled eggs as a kid. I didn't like like the smell or the texture in my mouth. Yeah, and so every time I'd get them, one year I think I got more of those eggs than any other, and I was trying to trade people, and they're like, "The fuck, no, <laughs> <laughs> no one would trade with me." And I got he didn't stuck. understand the economics of Easter eggs. <laughs> oh shit! I was so angry. I got all of the yeah. stupid. Speaking of which, did you guys ever uh, hit a pinata with money inside of it? Yeah. No, but I, I mean, I've been to those parties where they do that. But I'm telling you, my focus is that Reese's peanut butter cup, dude. For reals? That's like everyone's goal. Yeah. When we, uh, at least with our, I remember. No, you know what my shit was, dude? Smarties, dog. Smarties? Yes. Smarties out of pinata, dude. I would love getting the Smarties because it's like you can't eat that in one. You can. I I know Dominic can. Another layer of the fucking onion that had out of the (laughs) way. This fool loves Smarties. Are you kidding me right now, dude? You don't you like Smarties? Get, you can like get Smarties. a pack. You can get a 50-pound bag of Smarties for a dollar, fool. In New York, they sell jumbo Smarties. <laughs> Have you gotten those? No, I haven't got They're those like yet. They're like that big. They're like the size of a quarter. And then also, another candy I liked as a kid was Jawbreakers, fool. The fuck? You're fucking insane, dude. Just, if like, somebody gave me candy. a Jawbreaker on Halloween, I'd throw that through their window, dude. <laughs> you just like like all the chalk candies. No, they're like novelties to me. I like I like bottle caps and also Smarties. Great name makes me feel really. It good. is a good name. Yeah, I give them that. <laughs> I like Spree, but I only liked Spree because of the commercials. Yeah, they were like Spree. <laughs> That's my impression for the episode. <laughs> I like moving on bottle caps. You which one? They're like soda flavored. They're bottle caps. Yeah, but mm. they'd fuck up your mouth because they're shaped like bottle caps. Oh, so they're like rigid. They're like big ass Smarties, dude. They are, but they're soda flavored. Oh, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> You've never what? Oh, we no. can get you some bottle caps. I'm not a candy guy. I right? used I used to be the kid in the pinata line that I was like, I'm not even trying to fucking break this pinata. After a while, I and you know when you're young, you want to be the kid that's all fucking cool and breaks the pinata. But that's the worst position to be in when it breaks. Okay, but why? <laughs> because one, it hits you on the face. But also, you can't see where the can- what candies where you got to be on the outskirts, right? You got to be like ready. But to I'm in it for the in. glory, dog. You have an addiction to candy, dog. <laughs> to each his own, bro. Because when you win like a Super Bowl or something, you're gonna get the Gatorade drenched on you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's a perfect point. If I break this pinata foo, I would be honored to get fucking black eyes from the candy coming out of it. <laughs> you're gonna be like fucking Mike Tyson. With him. I want to be the guy with the swing. God, with the iPhone camera and shit, all slow mo, and just like, yeah, and then he's like, ah. and then I'm gonna, be and then like, yeah, it's, it's slow mo. Dominic's like going to get the candy. Yeah, I didn't even get a bag for it; just put <laughs> in my shirt. But I mean, I got a little belly on me, and kids, I don't want them laughing. I want to just get some candy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this was like this. I grew up in the aughts. So mm-hmm. baggy clothes were in style, dude. I fucking had shirts hanging to my knees. I did not need a bag. Damn, that's how we found out that Dominic was in style, fool. I was always just bring a bag. Yeah, I never had. I would always realize like, oh, my hands are small and I'm going to hold like five candies. But and also the thing is I was focused. All right. I didn't just grab shit. I that's fucking had <laughs> eyes out there on the streets. Yeah, I basically just got what I was going to eat immediately. That's like the Wait. funniest thing is is I'm like the heavy one, but that's just because I didn't like being like active like in sports and shit. But he like loves he's the one that loves candy and it surprises people. He has a huge sweet tooth. Yeah, no, he has this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like made of sugar. <laughs> it's a smarty. That's easy for you because you could just pick up a handful of Smarties like at random. You could close your Nobody eyes. Nobody likes the Smarties. You could stay party. blindfolded after you broke the pinata and grab Smarties. Listen, first. I accepted my fucking path in life. <laughs> all right. 
from an early age, I knew I was a smarty kid because that was the one that people would leave. Oh, and yeah, I Mr. Smarty Pants. <laughs> <laughs> I would have smarties in my pants. Fool. Dude, you should do it for Halloween. You should make a uh, just like cut up colors, cut you up should. circles and paint them different colors of the smarties and tape them to your pants. Smarty pants. Just hot glue a bunch of smarties or to that. your jeans. Or just go shirtless and put fucking Smarties as nipples, dog. You could get like bedazzled, but <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Nipple Smarty, dog. That's how much you love oh. Smarties. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Bad old saying. Yeah. You know how people lick your nipples? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a funny novelty because I know they make like candy underwear and shit to have yeah. candy nipple rings. That'd be hilarious. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, if you don't eat all of it, you just have this fucking wad of sticking sugar. That'd be gross. They're like, yeah, you are going to die, fool. You, <laughs> you left sugar in your tit for three years, dog. <laughs> I can't tell if it's green from the candy or from, like, gangrene, dude. You can't have this shit in your system. What's the best piñata you ever had? <laughs> Me, personally? Or that you've seen? Like, a, a, a family that was friends with our family, like, everyone. Um, the Padillas. And I think I remember one time uh, for their youngest son, they got one. It was like one of the giant circular ones. And it was like this big. They made it big enough that like everyone got huge bags full of candy. That was fun. So many Reese's Cups. Everyone got a Reese's Cup. He tried to trade me. I was like, fuck you, dude. Mine. Damn, fool. What's the biggest? What's the nicest one? I feel like I was into. I, I just remember like Hot Wheels, Spider-Man, Batman. And I'm then sure Spider Man is good. Somebody had one of the little green aliens from Toy Story. Oh yeah, it's my favorite is probably like a sombrero, like a big ass sombrero. That sounds fucking tight. Yeah, dude, just fucking pulling that shit. I've <laughs> never had like the the donkey. I've never seen those. Oh yeah, those are very popular. Apparently, they are because <laughs> they're like the image you think of with pinatas. I've never gone to a single birthday party that had the little donkey. Yeah, I've had those before. You see those all the time. I had a dinosaur once. That looked dope. That's pretty tight. Dinosaurs are cool. Imagine a fucking T-Rex, homie. That's a big-ass piñata, fool. Apparently, yeah. in Tepatitlan, where my family's from my mom's side, they have the world's biggest piñata in 2007 or something. It was oh, yeah. 11.6 meters wide. That's like 20. I don't know fucking the metric system. 11.6 right? meters. A meter is the measurement from the floor to the doorknob right there. I can't remember. 11 of those? 11.6 of those, Doug. Damn. Fuck! Yeah, <laughs> that's a big ass pinata, fool. Have you ever had a shitty pinata? Um, like made of shit. Like no. <laughs> oh, okay. Like I remember, I can't remember if you were there now. This might have been like, you know, you uh, like middle school, right? I don't remember if you were there or not, so I don't know if you remember this. But someone, well, like I definitely wasn't there. What forgot was to fill it until the day of the birthday party. So they had to do it last minute, and they did a shitty job taping it back to... They couldn't find the opening, so they just cut off, like, the tail or whatever and taped it back on. So everyone knew how to break the piñata, so they had to let the little kids... This was, like, the only time, I think, with the... I forgot who it was for, where they let the little, little kids try because they needed to extend the time that the piñata lasts. Yeah. Because everyone could see where to hit it. You'd knock off the tail, and it just pours out the bottom. Dude, it's, really funny. it's so funny to be like what I was trying to bring up with the 11.6 meters thing is like pulling the pinata. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. The guy that's pulling this fucking pinata, which is always like it's the job of the party. Right. Yeah. But it, it, dude, like, you know, how pe- I don't know if you guys are big basketball fans, but people would always be like MJ was playing back in the day when it was gr- grimy. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I'm willing to say like people that are pulling pinatas nowadays, dude, they got it easy, foo. Because when me and my cousins were kids, dog, we were we were gonna fuck that shit up, dog. You gotta have a good ass handle on that shit. You know what I mean? I may be blindfolded, fool, but I got the force, dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? Did you guys ever feel that way? Like you watch Star Wars as a kid and you gotta hit a pinata with a blindfold on. You're like, yo, I don't need these systems, dog. You're like Luke killing the dr- 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 When I was a young Catahuan. <laughs> <laughs> I think when we were kids, the part that was the funnest for 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 them was when they started getting like middle because they were getting taller. So the guy had to try harder to hide the pinata from them, which made it more fun. But it was like the worst point of my childhood because I was very short as a little kid, so I like could never even hit the thing. Was your guys' family like a time limit family or a swings family? Swings, really? Yeah. So how many swings did you get? 
I think if you're young under, it's like you got as many swings as your age. Yeah. Something like that. Up until a point, because I think 12 swings is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not there. We were, I was, I think we were more time based. It was like there was nobody counting swings, but we couldn't even count the beers they were drinking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, they were just going, like, okay, I think it's over for fucking Marcela's over now, you know? No, it's because it's my mom was usually the one that was in charge of, like, yeah. the line of kids. She so was the host she, of the Olympic game. Yeah, so she was, like, on top of swings. Yeah. yeah. And then my tios were always the ones that were fucking pulling the shit. That's a hard, hard job hard, to have. Dude. Yeah, dude. Have you guys ever done it? Yeah, yeah I had to stop. I did it once. And I was like, this is exhausting. <laughs> it's fun, though. Like I said, food, if you were doing it back when I was this fucking little lad swinging dog. Little lad. <laughs> yeah, dude. When I was back there with my fucking bat, just like. And, dude, I don't give a fuck. I'm not counting the swings. I'm swinging. And if I look like a fool, I don't give a fuck. People are laughing at you. Look at it. You know what I mean? Also, another thing. How many times have you heard about an injury from a pinata, dude? Every day of my life. Every day. No, don't be exaggerating there. No, but people will be like, oh, yeah, you see this right here? Yeah, my fucking cousin hit me with a bat when they're hitting a pinata, you know? I'm pretty sure Ryan hit somebody in the balls once. Damn, for real? No, reals? I think I almost hit another kid once because I got, no one was directing me and I got like too close to the circle. Damn, fly too close to the sun, you get burnt, homie. Dude, I got fired from fucking pinata <laughs> duty. Because I think I was, it was when I was a teenager. And when I got, I didn't know. I just thought you fucking pull wildly. There's a technique to it that I was unaware of. But that shit was flying up and down. And like, you know, the, the line is supposed to stay straight. And that shit was all wiggly and shit. Yeah. Because the fucking thing was just going. I was hitting people on the head, making babies cry. <laughs> as bad news bears. Because it wasn't going up and down. It was like swaying like a fucking wrecking ball. <laughs> Miley Cyrus comes in. The <laughs> yeah. Dude, someone should make that up in your <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. I remember this isn't pinata related, but it is birthday related. I did hit a kid at a birthday once on accident. How? My <laughs> Um I think it was our little our youngest brother's like eighth birthday. The way you laugh right now makes me feel like you did this shit on purpose. I didn't, but right. it was so funny that no one else saw but the mom and she was cool with it. She was cool with it. He fucking deserved it. Wait for it. <laughs> so it was just like his eighth or something. He was very young. He was like Hulk just came out. He was super into the Hulk. Mm -hmm. But it was a birthday, it was a bowling party, and I was very bad at bowling. Cause I was a child, um, so I thought, what if I just like I was like I don't even give a fuck anymore. I'm just gonna swing randomly. So I closed my eyes and I swung as hard as I could, and I threw it two lanes the wrong way and knocked this little kid on his ass. <laughs> I knocked him over with the bowling ball. He was fine. He was laughing his ass off, but his mom was the only one that's all. And they were I I was like weirded out that they were both laughing very hard at this thing that just happened. <laughs> but yeah, I almost killed. It's not like Jeffrey Dahmer's family. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. So, um, I mean, what else about pinatas? I know there was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, uh, the the copyright infringement shit. Oh yeah. So apparently, Marvel Comics is going to Mexico City giving copyright infringements on fucking Spider Man and. And other uh, properties of theirs. Yeah, if it's like based on an image, it, I don't even. Marvel is the one suing people, but I don't think it's like just Marvel. And Disney, you'll like get stopped if you're tr transporting one that's like a mockery of something that's copyright. at the border. Yeah, yeah. But then it said in the article I read that they were going to Mexico City and citing people for copyright infringement. Yeah, which is crazy. fucking crazy because it's a thing that's going to be destroyed. Yeah, like it, the whole purpose is. And also, it's a it's like free fucking <laughs> marketing, dog. That, that just reminds me of that Napoleon Dynamite scene again. Uh, Pedro, when he gets to, uh, he gets suspended from school because he made a pinata of his rival for school president. Yeah. he's like, I don't understand. It's <laughs> it was an honor. meant as an honor. Yeah. People I mean, who, also with people bringing pinatas across the border filled with drugs, dude. We were saying, imagine being that border patrol agent that has to hit break the pinatas. Oh, yeah, it's imagine one guy's being... job. I just imagine him in a room full of pinatas. They blindfold him. <laughs> <laughs> they blindfold him. He's like, ah! Did you find the drugs yet? <laughs> no. I got three more sweets. The, ba the badge for the pinata division is not even a fucking star. It's the pinata. It's a pinata paper mache. <laughs> he's at a party and people are like, oh, it's time for the pinata. He's like, another day on the job, baby. 
<laughs> all the kids are lining up and he's just there with his uniform. He's like, he brings oh. a stick from work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Dude. But imagine bringing fucking drugs through a pinata down here, dog. Hey, if you're bringing drugs in in a fucking pinata, you're stupid. Bro. <laughs> like, would, I mean, you're just That's a drug so addict that loves being Mexican fool. You're like, hey, dog, I got drugs in this pinata fool. And then you guys have a par- uh, drug party. <laughs> you, fucking, you have cocaine in the pinata and you fucking bring it. You guys think it's funny? <laughs> Is it funny? <laughs> I feel like the momentum really stopped right there when I started saying that. <laughs> that was funny. No, it was funny. But anyway, so it's funny, Gerardo, it was funny. <laughs> instead of destroying these pinatas, Marvel should like license this shit. Be like, hey, abuelita, look at continue making the Spider-Man dope though, dog, and fucking we'll let you use it, fool. Instead of being coming down there and just like destroying it or taking it away, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that they do do that because they have like the pinatas that have like the the actual drawing on the side of them. Yeah. Whatever. It's like the drums. Yeah. It's just a stupid thing to fucking yeah. police pinatas. Yeah. Like, also, just, if you're abuelita making pinatas, I say abuelita just as a term, but um, make Spider Man with three eyes and be like, uh, does your Spider Man have three eyes, bitch? You know? Right? Yeah. Give Spider Man six legs. I, I like love he, like the knockoffs, especially like when you go to like uh, Vallarta and mm-hmm. you see all the parody. I've seen one that it, you couldn't tell if it was SpongeBob or the Shrek. Because it was square and it had the little, like the the suit, but it was bright green with Shrek ears. <laughs> and it was like, I want I want them to make an easy more pinata, dude. We should make one. Let's be honest; they'll make it out of Ryan. All right, that's a, that's the a fuck? wealthy amount of candy in the party. The fuck? <laughs> you kill me and turn me into pinata? I'm not gonna kill you, dog. You said make it out of Ryan. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Assassinate. We could Ryan, make it please. like a sombrero. You can make it as big as you want. Yeah. Doesn't have to be me. <laughs> Wait, if we made a Yolanda piñata, can we get copyright infringement? Definitely. But no, because it's the Yolanda. What oh, if we made Yolanda. a Harita? Maybe we can get copyright infringement because Yolanda is not even... I mean, how can you... Prove it. Yeah, prove it. I'd like prove to see you prove it. didn't build the alien. <laughs> we Ryan's can. drawing style is a lot similar to uh, George to Lucas's imagination. <laughs> Fucking Marvel f- giving copyright infringements to piñata makers. Dude, companies like, choose to... To act on with that shit is weird. Do yeah. you ever hear about um, they wouldn't let a kid have a Spider-Man funeral? What the fuck? Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. This kid was like, like a toddler, but he loved Spider-Man, and this dad tried to get the permission. Mind you, they like put it on their website when they did a they did a a, a Star Wars march for this other white kid's funeral, but for this little like two years earlier. But this guy wants it. I think it was. Uh, he might have also been white, but I think he was Mexican. And he He's wanted, Mexican. He didn't even want like a funeral. He just wanted Spider-Man on the headstone. He's like, can I just paint a picture of Spider-Man? My kid loved Spider-Man. And they like cease and desisted that dude. Why ask? Yeah, just do it. Just do it. I don't even think he has, but they've like they issued a cease and desist order. He wasn't allowed to either way. That's so stupid. Yeah. Imagine crazy. <laughs> you send a cop. You send somebody to go because they have to destroy these things. Yeah. So you send somebody to go like cite all these fucking piñatas and they start destroying them and all these little kids start running. <laughs> oh, God, Police are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. Dude. They have to start carrying candy with them. <laughs> yeah. We will be talking more about uh, spooky shit during the month of October. Yeah, we'll save that. This story. is the last day of September. Right tomorrow. Yeah. When this Damn. goes out. Yeah. So get ready for October. Spooky shit's coming, Doug. That was pretty tight. That was uh, pretty scary. Dude. Yeah, dude. We're going to be talking about Brujeria. We're going to be talking about Dia de los Muertos, maybe, maybe towards November. Yeah. But uh, ghost stories. We're going to do an episode with my Theo again. Oh, I'm excited about the Halloween special. Like the actual, that's going to be the special special, right? Yeah. We're going to dress up like to be announced uh, costumes. Tell us what costumes you want to see Dominic in, Ryan in, and hit out the in. And I swear to God, if it's any fat jokes, I if it's any I, mustard, I said it, I said it first. <laughs> I do have a fat joke about I'm not dressing as a mustard packet, okay? I'll fast tell you fast forward. <laughs> it's spicy mustard. This food's spicy. <laughs> Mostaza picante, homie. It would be fun to do like our our wrestler adaptations. Oh, yeah. That's true. We can do that. do that. I don't know. Let me know in a comment if you think that's a good idea. Hmm? Yeah. And thank you again for... Li- this is a shorter episode than usual, but uh, I think it was pretty fun. What do you guys think? I liked it. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Please, if you haven't already, please like the video, share it with a friend if you think it was funny. Give them a timestamp or two, homie. And then uh, also, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, follow us on Instagram if you haven't already at Isimo Pod, I S I M O P O D. 
Leave us a voicemail at 920-474-6644 and you'll play it on the show much like this one here. Before we listen to the voicemail, I want to say sorry to Yasmina on the last episode. It's not Justina. Mm. It's Yasmina. Mm. And we appreciate everything you said about us. And it was very heartfelt. And when I watched the episode over again, I was like, damn, we did a disservice to that fucking voicemail because we, we were being pretty funny about it. Was it the teacher? <laughs> yes. I love the that. social worker. Yeah, the social worker. Yeah, thank you so much, Yasmina. Sorry about the mistake. That was excellent, and sorry for misspelling your name, or missaying your name. It's Yasmina. Uh, anyways, so here's a voicemail. We might have already heard this one from Anthony. We need more fucking voicemails, so please call us at 920-474-6644. What's up, fellas? Uh, my name is Anthony. I currently live in Washington State. I uh, found your podcast through TikTok. Really love the content. Keep it up. You guys are super funny. Uh, watch some of your stand-ups clips too of each of you guys very funny stuff to listen to i just wanted to call in and say i really appreciated the episode about therapy and machismo i come from a hispanic family um i'm puerto rican and i think we have the same type of upbringings in like the hispanic and latino type communities and it's just it's refreshing to hear people talk about it and be so open and make people feel comfortable when it comes to the the topic so just wanted to say thanks again you guys are awesome keep it up and i can't wait for you guys to get bigger and bigger with this whole podcast and your future endeavors later thank you so much uh anthony thank you hell yeah thank you anthony i appreciate that, was that. very nice yes i believe we played that one already but on the live stream so yeah i think so Anyways, thank you very much. And if you want to leave a, a voicemail, please leave it at 920-474-6644. And uh, leave us an email if you want. If you don't like the sound of your voice, you can email us at uh, esimopod at gmail.com. We will be doing a Patreon episode of uh, email res- uh, and responding to every single one of them. Because we have so many, we never fucking did it. And uh, I'm going to write it on the board. <laughs> we need to do that. Also, if you haven't been a part of our YouTube lives, we're trying to make those regularly. You can catch those most Tuesdays. We're trying to do it every Tuesday, but check out our Instagram page and we will announce it every day before we do a live. Yeah, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. PST. Um, PST, Pacific Standard Time. But we are also going to be venturing into different kinds of lives, so it might move to Twitch. We'll keep you guys informed. Yeah, thank you so much for sticking around. Yeah, please leave an Apple review. It really helps us out. We hit 100 reviews about two weeks ago, and we've only gotten four since. So come (laughs) on, guys. (laughs) Uh, But that helps us with getting on future guests or other sponsors for the show. And uh, follow us on Spotify if you haven't already. From us at ECMO Studios, Ryan has something to say. Don't fly. You look stupid. (laughs) (laughs) ECMO Podcast. I farted three times during the podcast. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mad. I believed in you. I didn't fart during the Patreon. Join Whoa. us on Patreon for a fart-free show. Yeah, if you don't you like farts. You have to farts. pay $20 to not hear you fart. <laughs> <laughs>